And now, coming to you live from downtown Jackson, Volcano's 104th resident and host of LOL, Ed Tracy! Thank you so much. <laughs> That's getting old. You're not getting any better of that. <laughs> any better at that. I, I'm getting really good no, at that. No, you're old. Talking. Stop it. You're old. Pop pop, right? <laughs> pop pop. Welcome to LOL, everybody. LOL. I haven't even started drinking yet. <laughs> Ed Tracy, Friday morning, show number 25. <laughs> 25. <laughs> huh? Your show can rent a car legally now. It's it and oh, Jason. Jason Gibson's back, everybody. I'm very excited. Yay! Yay! Oh, right. Yay! How many? How many times is this? Thirty-nine. <laughs> Twenty-five shows. This is your thirty-ninth time on. You know I don't know numbers. I know. Six times six is sixty-six. You know words. Theoretically. Spell ambitious. Okay. <laughs> so he's our co-host, and you're going to New. We'll talk about all that stuff. Yeah. So Jason's here, everybody. Very happy to have you here. You know I love you, pal. Mm. And um, magician Cody Ebert of Siskel and Ebert. No, just joking. Cody's here, everybody. <laughs> Cody's here. Cody brought uh, the two most active people at Oak Manor with him, right? Yes. And, and, what, and these are your grandparents? Your yeah, grandparents? this is my uh, my grandpa and uh, his girlfriend, Carmel. Yes. Girlfriend? Whoa! Yeah. 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 Grandpa's got more game than me. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And of course... One of my favorite guests of all time. Actually, the reason that I'm even on this show is because we did the Chowder Chomp last year, and we had such a good time. They made me uh, do this, and like everything else, I don't get paid for it. But give it up for, <laughs> from Taste Restaurant, Micah Malcolm, everybody. <laughs> and, and his trusted little sidekick, Vanilla. Vinny Lavel CD. Yay, yeah. hey, Vinny. Yeah, he's so happy. Uh, say hello. Hello. There we go. There we go. He talks. He talks. So we got a great show today, and um, I'm just going to get to it. We have we have a couple of things. Uh, today is National Pancake Day. For those of you who don't know, National Pancake Day. Jason, um, Jason do you like pancakes? Mm -mm. You like something. Freedom. Freedom. Well, you're going to New York, right? Yeah, commie. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <laughs> and today... Go with your pea yellow tie. Don't sass me. Read your jokes. Today, yeah, it's gonna be a great show. I can't <laughs> it's wait. It's gonna be it ridiculous. It is gonna be ridiculous. It's also National One Hit Wonder Day. One Hit Wonders, of course, are, some, are people that artists that came up with a song. It was hugely popular, made it to number one, and that's all they ever did. So let's see if you know any of these. Earth Angel. It was music. Yeah, it's music. Okay. Nicki Minaj, uh, right? I'm, I'm Nicki Minaj. Sure, yeah. I know it's not, but okay. Laugh, people. You're Nick, making me Nick, sound stupid right now. <laughs> Uh, Six Days on the Road by Dave Dudley. I never heard that. That was in 1963. I wasn't there. <laughs> I know you know this one. Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Oh, yeah. Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Tiny Tim. You want to see my imitation of Tiny Tim? Okay, anyway. All right. Uh, smile. Thank you so much. <laughs> smile. Off to a great start. Can't wait to get that uh, Coca-Cola. One Tin Soldier by original cast. House of the Rising Sun. Yay! Well, that's very, very good song. Hot Rod Lincoln. No. That's a good song. Yeah. Putting on the Ritz. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And Don't Worry, Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin. Oh, I like that. Don't Worry, Be Happy. Uh, tomorrow would have been my mother's 74th birthday. <laughs> and, what? and actually, I'm going to come over there. We're going to talk about these. Give it up for Jason Gibson, everybody. We're going to come talk about these. Three people. Thank you, guys. My, Three people your, just applauded. How's your mom, by the way? She's good. She's good? Yeah, she's all right. She was with a sassy German woman, Esther, so we'll be all right. S yes. And your mom is still single. Yes. We're still trying to get we her are a date. We will get her a date in this decade. In this decade. We'll say it like JFK. Su <laughs> Susan Gibson, a lovely woman. If you're poor, you need not they apply. Didn't need me, by the way. You just personal Jeez. message me. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's awful. Terrible. These are just straight Coca Colas, too. Mm hmm. Mm. Whoo! So, um, <laughs> did your mother ever tell you things uh, like that were just funny that you remember when you were a kid? <laughs> Besides, put your pants on in front of the computer? No, she never told me that. She was never around. You're I know what I'm doing. I know you. No, no, so, no. Not really. All right, let's see if your mom ever said anything like this. If you stick your tongue out again, it will fall off. 
No. She never said that. No. If you're too <laughs> if you're too sick to go to school, you're too sick to play outside. Yeah. How many times did you hear that? A lot. Did she tell you to play in traffic? Ever? Yes. <laughs> because that's where you get all the, the, the funnest. Shut up, Micah. Where all the funnest things happen. All the funnest, the funnest things happen. Funnestest. I'm going to skin you alive. No, she was never, never a serial killer. Anything? No. Okay. She well, wasn't on Dexter? And, uh, no, she wasn't. No use crying over spilt milk? She only said that when I legitimately spilled my milk. It, it wasn't just, yeah, I love, I milk, I love milk a lot. I've had, I know you've heard this one. Uh. I've had it up to here with you. <laughs> yeah. You and Mike have said that to me plenty of times. This is a list I've said to you, not this your mom. At least a hundred times I've heard that in the kitchen. And that was just in, you know, one weekend. Just Mother's Day weekend, he said all of those things to me. And a lot of other things that we can't say on live television. Well, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm Micah. It's not that I don't trust you, it's that I don't trust everyone. Mm -mm. No? No, the, uh, I've only heard something that was like that when you said, I don't hate everybody, or I'm not racist, I just hate everybody. Yeah. If you don't stop crying, I'm going to give you something to cry about? Yep. Oh, yeah. I think you've said that to him. said that to you. I know you have. <laughs> I teared up. It's different. It's manlier. I'm not your maid. Yeah, I've heard that. I heard that this morning, actually, last night. <laughs> Very busy oh, with boy. things. Can't it, clean up. Is your homework finished? No. No. It hasn't been finished since eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Got to bring up that memory, Edward. Oh, yeah. Good times. Thank you. Yeah. Where'd you go to school? Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Pick up your feet. <laughs> I know. You probably heard this. <laughs> Where are you getting this list? This is my, my, this is things my mother would say. Put that down. You don't know where it's been. This is... I, I think I said that one to you. Yeah. Just go into the kitchen and chew on everything. Just knives, spoons. Say that again, I'll wash your mouth out with soap. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that before? Once. Um, so, you just got back from Alaska. I did. How was that? Like f five days ago. And yeah. how, how was that? It was neat. It was always, always a good time. I saw you cooking. I thought you weren't going to cook up there. <sighs> I tried to get out of the life, but my uh, the guy, uh, Nate, who, who was maintenance with me, he said, uh, well, we're going to be gone for, nobody's going to be here for a week, so I wanted to just get Hot Pockets and Snickers. <sighs> I said, nope, you're not cooking anymore. Give me it all. I'm taking it over from right now. He was not allowed to cook. So, yeah, so I, I did maintenance warehouse, and I cooked, and there you are. Did you cook some good stuff for him? No, they yeah. got stuff that, you know, I just threw together because I wanted to watch TV and go to bed. Did you meet any nice girls up there? That. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this. Sorry. That's a whole other story when we're off the air, my friend, when we're at Micah's house. <laughs> why, can't, why do we have to talk about girls at Micah's house? Why can't we talk about them now? Because uh, I like to talk about women on the air. And my lovely women that I have over there in the audience right now. The ladies of the union. <laughs> yep. Yeah, just only one of them clapped. Only put, uh, put the camera on Mitzi. The other two don't get cameras. <laughs> Here's one you probably heard before. Someday you will thank me for this. Your mom ever... <laughs> Did your mom ever do that to you? No. Your mom ever beat you? Yeah. She, she should have. I know. She should have. I probably would have been less of a hoodlum. So you were in you were in Alaska for three months, was it? Four. Four months. Four, mo four months actually to the day. You and Oliver. Yeah. Oliver Tremelling. The uh, only cook at the union right now. Cook, manager, dishwasher, <laughs> general manager, everything. People still come in the kitchen and go, thank you, Oliver. He hasn't been there for four months. <laughs> He's been gone. People. He hasn't worked there for four they months, still, yet he still gets more still credit. still come in the kitchen. Tell Oliver that was delicious. <laughs> Yeah. What is the deal with He's that? hanging out with Moose in Alaska, and they're still thinking that he made, a, their, made their fried chicken, so that pisses me off. <laughs> yep. He got more credit than, you know, the Allies during World War II. What, yeah. what can he do? And he, uh, he's back now, and he's going to back to Alaska. Yeah, he's going to China. And you're going to New York. Yeah. And yeah. do tell. I, gotta, I have to know this story. Why are you going to New York? Because I'm 26, and I'm, you know, just like you, I'm not getting any younger, so I've got to start doing my, <laughs> do my career. Here we go. Yeah. I don't want to wake up 65 like you and think, oh, I should have done, should have done what I wanted to. <laughs> but I still love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You. Yeah. It'll be fine. I mean, I looked up homeless shelters, and there's a couple nice ones. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of homeless shelters. Homeless people, actually, that's a myth. Homeless people are very nice. Not one of them has schizophrenia or is crazy. <laughs> I never said that. I'm just, that's oh, what I, yeah, that's what I that's Actually, what I the, biggest, the biggest homeless shelter is the Port Authority bus terminal. You could actually, guys make... Intriguing. Was, can I could, live there? You could totally live there. And you just sit, you, if you want to make money, you go to the escalator 
at the bottom of the escalator where 50,000 people come a day and just wave at people and hold your hand out. There's a guy that makes $300 a day doing that at the Port Authority bus terminal. I'm doing, that's now my job. I'm not going to line cook. I'm going there immediately. What, what, what do you want to do in New York? What, what do you plan? What's the... First, I need to get a place to live. Okay. That's number one. I need, I, need to, I need to get a room. Dad, I know you're watching. Let him stay with you. Aww. It's not that bad. It is that bad. It's that bad. Yeah. Well, like, we'll drink actually, together. We'll be a good I, I asked my I asked my family if you could stay with them. That'd be, I, and you're the quiet one, so that's just going to be ridiculous if, I, I if really, we hang out with them. I really am. If I quiet, hang out with them, yeah. Family. That's awful. My, I can't even repeat what my sister said when I told him you were coming. Tell me in my ear. Tell me in my ear. I can't because I have a microphone. Just in the microphone. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll, I can't. I'll have them turn off no, the microphones no, right now. No, no, no. Anyway. Hopefully, so, hopefully, back to your original question, hopefully music production, directing, and screenwriting. That's ultimately what I want to do. Follow your dream, baby. Okay. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, how much time we got? We got a minute. Oh, we're going to come back to this then. So, remember that what we're going to do now, mm. we're going to read an article in the newspaper. Every time the word the comes up, we're going to drink. Got it. Okay. Coke can, yeah, can Mitzi read it for us? So all we have to do is just drink and listen and laugh. Mitzi, somebody... do you have your glasses? <laughs> she doesn't need glasses. She's 21 years old. How about Vincent? Really Vincent can't read. He goes, <laughs> well, I go to Amador. I can't read. <laughs> oh! He didn't... He went to Amador. Did you go to Amador? Yeah, I used to tape all their games. That's right. <laughs> and, there, and, I've been on Amador's campus a lot. Yeah, and then that stopped. <laughs> Restraining order. <laughs> I went to Crespi. We're we're gonna we're gonna come right back. When we come back, Chef Micah Malcolm from Taste Restaurant is going to show us how to sear scallops. Some big juicy ones. Give it up.